Hello, and welcome back to more, more Spyro. There is something on my head that the sound needs to go down. Let's just, there we go. Much better. <laughs> welcome back to Let's Play, uh, now it's too soft. It's like muted almost. Here we go. <laughs> this is, you can tell this, this is like a super, I'm trying to connect with my audience. This is, it's, I'm just like you. <laughs> It's super casual. No, uh... God, that made me sound like a total douchebag. I don't regard myself as a superstar at all. Welcome back to, uh... Let's play Spyro 3. Last time we finished Crystal Islands and rode a slide. And now we're gonna go to Desert Ruins. Which has a big green lake. Oh! I was talking at the end of last episode. And, um... This level has a kind of a, a gimmick to it that is either good or bad. <laughs> I remember it being painful, but it might not be as painful. This guy looks like those guys from Glimmer. Nobody can do anything for themselves anymore. Spyro is just picking up all the he's, he's picking up all the slack around here. Please don't do that. I was surprised I didn't get hit there. That just shows how great I am. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. This is Desert Ruins. You can't touch the water, as in most levels. Oh no! I didn't know it did that! I, <laughs> I, that is not the gimmick I was talking about, but, um... Important to know things sink. Um, yeah, you cannot touch the water, as in most Spyro levels that have water that is not colored like water. That guy's big. Oh. Oh god, the music is really good, though. Wow, that's freakishly great. Um, how do I kill you? I don't know. It's a duel. Okay, we're gonna have to figure out how to deal with that fellow real soon, because <laughs> that did not turn out well at all. Anyway, can't get in water, I've said that already. And there's also this thing going on in this level where... You'll see, there's like metal, and you can't walk on it because these rude fellows like to heat it up. <laughs> heat it up! There's this thing that me and Bill Barlone often do, where uh, we will rub our hands together and then place them upon a, uh, place them upon objects and go heat them up. And it's kind of stupid. <laughs> but please kill him! Please kill him! What do you do to giant scorpions? How do you? How do you fend off a monster like this? Do you go around it, or do you avoid it? I honestly don't know how to kill that thing. Um, I, it feels like something you have to shoot something at, but I don't think that would work either. Is fire just going to work in this circumstance? Please don't burn me. Oh, you just burned them. <laughs> wow, I'm completely overcomplicating everything. Everything's kind of got a Roman theme here. This is what I was talking about. Um, you gotta, you gotta be a little cautious. Those guys remind me of this character from this game called Pipe Dreams, uh, or Pipe Dreams 3D, it, for like the PlayStation 1, which I own, and um, I don't know why I had to clarify that, <laughs> but everybody, like there, there are those Pipe Dream games, which is like kind of a classic, really annoying game that everybody knows about. But, um, th these guys, the characters in, like, this kind of 3D, almost weird adventure style of a Pipe Dreams game, it, it's actually pretty fun for a Pipe Dreams game. But, um, they all are pipes. And, I don't know, that, I worked a lot of that up. <laughs> all for nothing. But the, everybody in the game is pipes. And that's what that reminds me of, because he looks like a pipe. The end of story. <laughs> I completely destroyed that story. Okay. The music... <laughs> I'm gonna state again that the music is really, really good. It's got some piano riffs that I wish I could whip up. I can play music, but I can't really... I wish I could sit down and freestyle. That would be so cool. I can play really, like, hard pieces. But I can't really freestyle anything super cool. I guess I have to work on my theory a bit more. Which, well, not really, because I've been in... 
I've like done music endeavors for years and I understand music theory. Well, that almost sounds like kind of heady of me. He <laughs> Not heady. Um, full headed. No, air headed of me. There we go. It's like I. It's like English isn't my native language. <laughs> oh my god. Um, it, yeah, it sounds kind of air headed of me. There's always like room to improve on anything, especially music theory. You can always like practice more and more. Please don't die. I think I've only died once so far. That's pretty darn good. Um, so yeah, please don't think of me as like super. <laughs> I know everything about music, and there's nothing for me to continue practicing with because I am I am practically Bach. I am a prodigy <laughs> because I most certainly am not, and I'm terrible at a lot of. Not necessarily terrible. I will say that I am not awful at music. There are I play a lot of instruments, and I'm fairly okay at a lot of them. But there are some things that I that I, are you kidding me? This jump is one of those kind of jumps where it's barely there. But since this gecko keeps respawning, my life is like perfectly fine. But I play a lot of instruments, some better than others. I use I really need to, I really like want to play French horn again, or just like just like whip my French horn out because I used to play that when I was in band, which I do not do anymore. I do choir stuff now. But when, when I was in band, I would play French horn, and I even played in an orchestra for a while, and that was super cool and fun. And I, I love the French horn. Ooh, Sheila. I'll have to go back to that later. Um, please bring me the cool music back. Thank you. Uh, but for, like, there were, there were some parts of band that I did not enjoy, such as, like, selling your soul to marching band, which is not cool. I really hate marching band. Um... <laughs> I don't know, there's, there's something, I just don't, the music, I do like the music, I love marching band music, but I don't like memorizing all the positions, or, it's not really the memorization, actually, it's like, I remember we used these things called spot books, where you, you're supposed to write down all of your, all of your spots in, so you can refer to them if you, if you screw up. But I didn't- I remember not needing a spot book, and I could memorize my routine by just doing- like, doing it and memorizing it. And, honestly, I feel that's better because it's like, it burns into your brain and you don't have to rely on something to- to carry out your routine. You've already got it memorized. But, uh, my- my guy would get mad at me <laughs> because I would never use my spot book. <laughs> he didn't really, like- get mad at me, but I it was frowned upon that I did not use my spot book, and I kind of wish that everyone would just shut up about it, because I was doing fine, and it, I, I mean, you shouldn't yell at someone for doing something differently, and, like, have them, st if they're doing something differently, and they're still able to carry it out, you totally shouldn't yell at that person. If they've just found a new way to do it that makes things easier for them, how about you shut up and let them do the thing they're doing? Because they're doing it fine. Um, that kind of thing annoys me. People people should just be allowed to do what they want to do if they do it right. And if they don't do it right... Oh, oh, I see what I need to do. If they don't do it correctly, then sure, you should reprimand them. And if their new fangled method is, like, decrease... If their new fangled method is, like, producing results that aren't good, or as good as they could be with your new fangled method, then... Uh, that, that, you, you should totally tell them to do what you're doing. But I was doing fine, so... Bruh! <laughs> so I'm grumpy. Arg. Hello, Andy. Is that another Bucktooth Brown? I feel like we've seen a lot of Bucktooth Browns. I also keep hearing, like, this, this sound in my ear. I'm sure it is part of the game audio, but it kind of sounds like a, a it's someone yelling. <laughs> other than myself, but, um, it's some, it's some creature making an exclamation. <laughs> yeah, there it went again. It's kind of bothering me. Open the door, money bags. Well, Spyro, I bet you're glad to see me. It just happens that I know the, uh, password to open the door to the tomb of the stone golem. But, uh, it seems to have slipped my mind for the moment. 
If you know what I mean. Wow, that paragraph is probably the most, like, douchey money bags paragraph I've ever read in the, in, like, in any Spyro game ever. You suck, money bags. You really, really suck. <laughs> Take my money, you <laughs> greedy, well, greedy, you, you greedy swear word. I shook my fist when I did that to add Double. emphasis. Oh, you really suck. Wow. <laughs> money bags. They really made you a douche in this game, didn't they? <laughs> More than you've always been. Is this guy heating this up now? Okay. <laughs> Heat him up. Oh no, they both are. Um, that was almost overly... That, that was kind of terrifying for a moment. How do I get up there and I like the purple colored walls but it kind of breaks away from the Greek theme and it leads to more of like a it's very paisley <laughs> hello sir your jeez is done oh everything's getting mixed everything's getting mixed mixed up I'm wait is there a pattern to this okay can I see them oh please sir Please don't do that. Ow! We're, oh, that was not very nice. I totally couldn't see you climbing up. Sir, don't move. There we, thank you. I discovered today that I really, really like competitive... Uh, is this a pit of doom, or is this... What is this? But I, I really like competitive soccer football. I will do this later. I will finish the level first, then do little levels. Um, but I really like competitive soccer football, I've realized. Because, um, it was on the... Swansea was facing off against Cardiff today. And we went to watch it, and I legitimately cared about what was happening, which has never happened before when I watch sports. <laughs> I find football soccer enthralling, though. Oh my goodness, you look just like Laura Croft, except you have mouse everything. Referencing other old games in games. I said that like they don't do that ever. And I, it sounded like I was trying to be sarcastic. <laughs> okay. Well, well, look at you. Showing up here to raid the tomb after I've done all the work. I spent all day pressing switches and shoving boxes around and you just waltz in here expecting to claim the treasure. Well, might as well have it. Only turned out to be a lousy egg anyway. You did all the work? You did all the work? I killed all the guys and took all the money. There was, like, there was nothing done for me coming up here. Gosh darn it, Tara. Gosh darn it, blatant reference. <laughs> Thanks for the egg anyway. You have fierce eyebrows. Where are you going? Oh, oh, they all leave. <laughs> I'm used to this. How? Why? I don't even know. Okay, so that level wasn't as terrible as I thought it was going to be. Now we have to do the terrible part. <laughs> I'm sure it's awful, as it usually is. Let's go do some stupid mini games. <laughs> I'm just, I'm like, just gonna hate on these these little mini games. <laughs> there, there's no love there anymore. Okay, where do we start? Let's go back into the tomb, I suppose. And there was, um, let's get the one in the kind of hard, almost difficult to remember if you forget about an area up here. I guess they would all be difficult to remember exactly where they are. Like the slide from last episode, I completely forgot about that, where that was located. It all, it's, it's all about time. Don't play a game for like... Let me see, November, December, January, February, four months, uh, <laughs> and then you'll totally forget everything. Are we just having a swim here? What are we doing? This, oh, hi there. You're familiar. What do you want? I've been training my new pet manta ray to carry the latest technology super high impact underwater missile launchers. Want to ride him and try blasting some shark? Okay, because you said that with such enthusiasm and you sounded like you and like you really enjoy this hunter, of course I will. 
that was super cute. <laughs> watch out for the shark riders. They're carrying the latest JX5 underwater tracking ammunition. I think I've done something with sharks. These sharks have appeared before, haven't they? We 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 fought sharks much earlier, didn't we? When we uh where were we? I must ask what country we were in. Um Seriously, where were we? We were in uh the place with the boats and the ghosts. I can't even remember what it was called. Lost Fleet, that was it. Yeah, we fought sharks there, didn't we? We fought something. I can't remember any of these missions anymore. I'm absolutely so Wait, do we have, like, health or will I explode in one hit? I see sparks, so and we're not hunters, so I assume we'll- I assume we'll be fine. Okay, please- Whoa! I'm, like, tearing it up here. If I could hit this guy, come on. He's right there. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my god, that was awful. Um... Are they spawning you guys in? Are they, or are they just still floating around? Hey there, fellow. Um, I need to I need to kill you for money. That's terrible. <laughs> wow. Okay. Sir, please come back. There we go. This this one is not as bad as I thought it was going to be. This is pleasant. Please get off the wall. Thank you. <laughs> good old good old PlayStation One. <laughs> Getting stuck on walls. I miss stuff like that. Now whenever you hit walls you like, you have a crash animation or you're deterred. You can't just run straight face into walls anymore and expect nothing out of it. You always, you're always hurt or something. Which is a shame. I wish you could just PlayStation 1 it into a wall. <laughs> I miss stuff like that. Oh, you can only get hit once. That sucks. <laughs> Try not to get hit. You could have told me that it would kill me in one hit if I if I did so. Okay, let's try that again. I think we're going to fire wildly. <laughs> oh, I'm doing awful now. This is great. This is absolutely fabulous. Please, please, please. Oh, I mentioned a couple episodes ago when we were in Honey Speedway. And that, that was like a long time ago. It was four months ago, actually. But, um, I, I, I was talking about the Cyan, like, how Cyan Incorporated was doing a Kickstarter for a new game. And they actually made it, and I think they made it over their goal, which is super... Are you... F you're joshing me. <laughs> you're pulling... Stop pulling my Johnny. That's terrible. Um... <laughs> But how they were doing a Kickstarter for their new game, which it completely escapes me what it's called. Um, <laughs> but they actually made it, so that's cool. And they went they went over their goal, which I'm I'm really excited about, and I'm really excited to see uh, uh, any new Cyan game. And I like to th I like to think in my heart that maybe someone watched that video and went and gave money to Cyan. I don't know if any of you guys did, but uh, if you did, you. You, I, I, I praise you, because they're really good at what they do, and your money would be well spent. Please kill things, Spyro. I love you, Spyro, and you are a staple of my childhood, but these minigames I just can't grasp onto. <laughs> this one actually isn't that bad. I don't mind that I've been, that I died horribly right before fighting the last, or like, killing the last guy. Okay, we've got one more. Please do not screw this up. Come on, Spyro. Come on, Spyro. Quit. Quit jerking around. You can do this. Please just hit him. Wow. Okay. We done? Good. Nice shooting, comrade. Where'd you learn to aim like that? Oh, by the way, Bianca wanted me to give you this egg. She says she accidentally turned it into a woolly mammoth for five minutes, but it should still be okay. Why'd you just leave it like a woolly mammoth? It would probably help be helpful to have a woolly mammoth when we take on the uh, the enchantress. You could just turn it back into a baby thing afterwards. Babies are fairly useless. All they do is eat things and poop and cry. It would have been great if we had a woolly mammoth. I mean, woolly mammoths are almost cooler than babies. 
I mean, babies turn into cool things, but that takes a long time. Woolly mammoths are just cool. And no, woolly mammoths do not come in baby form. <laughs> woolly mammoths come straight out of the womb looking awesome and hairy. <laughs> uh, okay, we're done, we're done there. Um, where are we going? Over here. Sparks will be very useful in this area. I do not want to search for things. We get everything? Good man, Sparks. Good man. Let's go. Okay, so I think it's, uh, it's, it's time to end the thing. I'm gonna go back in this. I'm actually, I think I'll set us up for the, uh, the next stupid mini game we do. I'm just gonna, <laughs> they're not even known as mini games anymore. They're, they are just stupid mini games. <laughs> So I'm going to set us up for the next stupid minigame, and then I think well, I'll leave us off. This is Zo. Zo, please zap me. Thank you. I don't know why. I don't feel complete without a good zap. Now, our next de destination, I think, will be the Sheila. The Sheila portal. I skipped by another one, too. I, I can't imagine... I've already forgotten where one of the, uh, the, where one of the levels started, ended, where one of the, uh, one of the portals is. Oh my god, okay. Okay. Thanks for taking down all my health. <laughs> I forgot where all, where one of the portals is located already. As I said earlier, you can forget these things really fast. Gecko. Gecko. The geckos are kind of cute. I like the geckos. I'm saying a lot of things are cute, but it's true. There are a lot of cute things out there. Okay, giant hand. You know, I've seen giant heads and giant hands in this level, but I haven't seen any, like, giant torso or, you know, anything like that. That's kind of counterproductive to just have hands. Actually, that's a lie. Raymond just has hands and he does just fine. Anyway, thank you for watching. And the next episode, I think we're going to go uh, do some Sheila stuff. So, goodbye, and I'll see you then.